In 2002, the state tax incentive was put into place, and that's really when film started. And that next year, we did $7 million in production here in the state, actually. And then last year, just in Albuquerque, we did $180 million. So within that time period, um, with all of the support from the legislature and um, the people of Albuquerque, uh, there was a crew base that was created and there were classes that were put in place that taught our people here how to make films. So one of the most important things that's happened within those 16 years is that um, Albuquerque has created a solid crew base and we now have probably seven to eight different crews that can be working at one time. The Albuquerque Film Office, um, we recruit productions here. Uh, once they get here, we help them with whatever they need. Um, you know, we kind of hold their hand if they have any issues. We also, um, we also issue all of their film permits, um, talk to them about what will, they'll need for that, if they need, you know, the garbage trucks to come or the fire department to be there or the police department to be there. We're their really point of contact. We're their main point of contact while they're here. Albuquerque Studios, um, over the past few years has had difficulties. They've gone in and out of bankruptcy. They've had some legal issues. They were um, on the market uh, when I came in in April. And so I um, called Netflix and I said, um, why aren't you guys buying Albuquerque Studios? This is a great opportunity for you. And I had a friend there. He used to manage Albuquerque Studios, so he knew the property. And he said, well, I need this and this and this done. If you can help me out, then um, we're very, very interested. So it was just a process of kind of herding cats, um, getting the city behind them, getting the state behind them, and moving the deal forward. The most important thing for students right now going through CNM and UNM is to um, create a community and um, start working with the other people around you because that's really, that is your, that's who you're going to grow up with in this industry. That's who you're going to get jobs with. That's who you're going to grow with. So, um, you know, I think, the, I think that if you're a writer, you need to have writer's groups. If you're, um, you know, a group of directors, then you guys need to be shooting each other's stuff on the weekends, whether it's on iPads or, you know, DSLRs. I think that um, in order to really succeed and um, grow in this industry, you have to treat it as a craft and you have to practice every single day. And um, you have to write every day. You have to work with talent every day. You have to get together with your friends and read scripts out loud so that you can hear what it sounds like. Um, so I would just say, you know, hone your craft right now while you can, while you're young.